Phenomenophilia is a disorder when a patient has a long standing desire for amputation of a specific limb. <laughs> hypothesize that this disorder, apotemnophilia, is like somatoparaphrenia that is caused by the dysfunction of the right parietal lobe leading to a distorted body image and desire for an amputation of one or more limbs. Patient number one is a 29-year-old man named A.O. He has a great normal results from a neurological examination. However, he has had a tape right below his knee since early childhood. Patient number two is a 63-year-old man named B.C. He is also right-handed with a good medical history. He also had normal results from a neurological examination. Since early childhood, he also wanted to amputate below his left knee and below his right thigh. For this study on apotemnophilia, we tested our conjecture on two individuals along with five control patients. We measured their skin conductance response, or SCR, to pinprick above and below the line of desired amputation. SCR was used because it's a general indicator of general sympathetic arousal. A pair of silver and silver chloride electrodes were attached to the palmar surface of their index and middle fingers on the right hand. Pricks were randomly applied on both feet and both upper thighs while the patient was blinded. The patient's response was examined and reported. For the result of AO, we found two fold difference in the right and left legs. The F test showed a p value less than 0.01. Also, another comparison between um, above and below the desired amputation line on the right leg showed a two-fold difference. The F-test resulted in a p-value less than 0.005. Then, there was no difference across the normal leg. The F-test showed a p-value that was not significant. For the results of BC, we found a three-fold difference across all lines. The F-test on the left leg showed a p-value of less than 0.001, and on the right leg, a p-value also less than 0.001. Then, there was no difference between the legs, with the p-value that was not in significant. For the control pair patients, there is no difference between the foot and thigh, the right leg, nor between the legs with all p-values that were not significant. So what do you think about the paper? I mean, I thought the topic was really interesting, but I felt like some things were missing. What do you think? Yeah, I actually agree. Overall, the paper gave a great presentation on this disorder. However, I think the author could have gone into much more depth. Oh yeah. For real, with the experimental topic so unusual and uncommon, but still incredibly dangerous for patients diagnosed with this disorder, I'm surprised that there really hasn't been much study on it. Yeah. 
This paper was has a great hypothesis, but I just can't believe that he only conducted this experiment on two patients. I mean, I don't think data from just two people can be significant enough to compensate for all patients. This disorder is so rare that conclusions cannot be assumed from a couple of successful results. I mean, he definitely needs to find more patients. I know, if you look at the paper, using two patients for the experiment is really weird. But you kind of have to remember that this disorder is incredibly rare. Right. The patients had to be right-handed, like the paper said. They had to have the desire for amp amputation at a young age, along with a great medical record and a normal neurological ex examination. That's true. I feel that maybe they had a difficult time finding subjects. But one thing that really got to me was how they knew that SCR was an actual experiment that would definitely be equivalent to saying that apotemnophilia is for sure neurological. I mean, I figured they'd use more tests to support this hypothesis. Exactly. I haven't seen any evidentiary support that SCR defines this disorder as neurological. I think he is making some you know, unsupported assumptions again. This paper would be perfect if it had a stronger experimental design. I totally agree. Yay! <laughs>